My name is Bernard Morey, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Many people recognize that some of the greatest advances that have been made in surgery in general have been in our field of orthopedics, and they relate to the ability to diagnose and effectively treat uh, arthritic conditions. Um, the major treatment, of course, is joint replacement, and most individuals are familiar with joint replacement um, as an effective way of treating arthritis for the hip and the knee. What has generally been uh, recognized, and, and both by the laity and even by the profession, is that some joints are more difficult to manage than others. Certainly, uh, elbow replacement falls into that category. Um, early in my training and in my career, it was generally felt that the elbow could not be effectively treated with a joint replacement. It was a joint beyond. Thanks to some work done in Mayo's biomechanics laboratory and uh, clinical assessments, uh, we do now have effective treatments for the arthritic elbow, including a complete replacement. The replacement design that is available uh, at Mayo uh, has been uh, developed here uh, and modified from a previous design almost 30 years ago. And there have been newer uh, design concepts that have also come on the market that are being uh, evaluated. Regardless, we can say, however, that today it is a reasonable option to address some uh, conditions both after trauma and as a, a basic arthritic condition, such as with rheumatoid arthritis, to replace the uh, disease joint with an uh, artificial implant. However, as with all surgery, it's not free, meaning there are potential complications. And the complication rate in the elbow is probably greater than any other joint, largely because of the uh, poor quality of tissue around the elbow in most instances, and just the nature of the arthritis itself. However, the surgeons who do this kind of surgery are very well aware of these potential complications and take great steps in order to try to minimize and to avoid these problems so that we can actually convert a dysfunctional joint, a dysfunctional elbow joint, to one that is useful and serviceable to the patient, not just in the short but also in the long term. As alternatives to total elbow arthroplasty, unfortunately, unlike most other joints, there aren't very many. Uh, the limited procedures that are done through the arthroscope can help certain conditions, but not severe end-stage arthritis. The fusion that is sometimes done in joints that can be very effective, particularly in the younger population, is not an effective alternative usually for the elbow. Thus, we find ourselves uh, faced with the need of replacing the elbow joint in a broad spectrum of patients with end-stage elbow arthritis, and it is this patient that benefits most from the uh, increasingly uh, uh, refined understanding and technique that is being uh, developed with this uh, particular uh, joint and with the designs that are currently available.